What's going on everybody? Welcome back to another Juice Reacts video and in today's video we got another honest trailer about Netflix The Witcher. Now this is a series I haven't watched and I have friends that love this freaking series. One has said it's really awesome, the other has said it's disappointing. I haven't seen this show but I'm down to see the honest trailer so let's go, let's go ahead and react to it right now. Witcher. He's gonna say boobs. Right? He's Based on the to. books you've been meaning to read, they got spun <laughs> off sure. into games you've been meaning to finish, I comes a series it. that's meant to be the next Game of Thrones. But oh, ended up more like the next Xena that? Warrior Princess. <laughs> I ain't mad at it. The Witcher. Get ready for the most watched Netflix show ever, because they changed how really? they count the views as you enter uh, a sprawling fantasy world that seems pretty complicated on the surface, but boils down to a vaguely polished Tolkien with oh. swears. But I <laughs> Did your mother a snowman? <laughs> when there's what? something strange in your throw? bog or woods, who you gonna call? A witcher. You don't scare me. That's too bad. Highly trained mutant killing machines, who every moron in the, the land wants to pick a fight weak. with for some reason. You mutant son of a bitch. <laughs> Did not know you were a witcher. I've always wanted to play with one. <laughs> Ride along with the titular witcher, Geralt, as Henry Cavill mean mugs his way through the continent, <laughs> searching for the minimum number of syllables required That's to carry a series. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <f> <laughs> 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 I mean, they make these compilations. Because now if I watch this show, that's all I'm going to pay attention to. Still <laughs> 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 going. You must have some review for me. Three words or less. His destiny will be tied to Siri, a baby Yoda with the power uh. of Screamo. <laughs> Jennifer, a girl who left the Hogwarts to Deep State Mage Pipeline to go live by her own rules, selling boner weed. <laughs> and tagging along is the foppish bar character, who everyone hates. My name is Julian Alfred Pankow. Hi. Damn it, yes, yeah. Oh, please, not the loop. <laughs> Comedy relief. With a song or two that everyone begrudgingly admits is actually pretty good. Toss a coin to your witcher. Huh. I guess even fantasy realms have to deal with their own version of John Mayer. Oh, valley of <laughs> penis. Oh, God. That sucks. Watch the action, drama, and complete lack of comedy unfold across a typical episode where Geralt comes across a problem he doesn't want to get involved in. I want you to join my team. No. Then totally gets involved in it. I'm in. While Siri runs through some woods boringly, Yennefer's dress comes off. Then we switch yeah. timelines, only you don't realize it since half the characters don't age, so just enjoy an awesome sword fight. Huh? Some, uh... Cool magic sometimes, I guess. Out come Yennefer's boobs again. <laughs> and at the end of the day, Jeez. it turns out man was the real monster all along. It's a formula I can totally get behind. Oh, the next one's already started. <laughs> so if you ever wanted a show to put images in your head that would match the phrase porcupine wedding, sexy hunchback, or <laughs> magical hysterectomy, then you are super weird like us, and we finally have a show to enjoy together. Because if Peak TV was all about 12-hour movies you have to binge all at once to appreciate, then I welcome the return of shows that can say, Tonight on Witcher, meet a bog monster who's also a beautiful lady, coming up after an all-new Buffy, only on UPN. Dude, I miss freaking like that. Silent but deadly. The Hunchback of Notre Dame. <laughs> hey, Siri. My ballads bring all the corn uh, to the bog. <laughs> Blood sugar X magic. Bass. Beheadings. Gotta say it right here. Barf. Oh, oh, I just ate. Beams. Yeah. Midsummer. <laughs> Whisper voices. Uh, that was great. What are you, child? Talking about coin. How much coin for your kiki more then? You seem to find coin pretty charming yourself. I have enough coin to rebuild our house. Ten percent of all your coin. You fled with that coin. My coin. My coin. Coin. Talking about destiny. You don't believe in destiny. I have to find my destiny. It's your destiny. He is your destiny. Does everybody destiny. know about destiny. 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 Destiny can go. <laughs> Oh. 
And that song you finally got out of your head. Toss a coin to your witcher, a friend of humanity. And it's back. The Hair Did they Witch say Project. Fuck in the book in the game a lot? See, cause like. Okay, you just buried a baby oh. at low tide, barely an inch into the sand. You might as well just chug him into the ocean if you're not gonna put some elbow grease into it. <laughs> Return from whence you came. <laughs> I'm the honest voice guy. Um, yeah, so do they. For those of you that love The Witcher, that have seen The Witcher, that have read the books, that have. Obviously, if my friend Armando is watching this, bro, tell me. Uh, do the books use the F word a lot, and do the game use the F word a lot? Because that's the one thing I will say that really annoys me or that I hate about, like, adapting source material and making it into movies or shows is when they just add stuff that's not in the books. I haven't read this. I own the game. I own Witcher 3, but I just haven't played it. So um, I'm just very curious if they just added that stuff in there or if that's actually a part of, like, you know, the actual dialogue all the time. But anyways, The Witcher was something that, like, look, I haven't seen Netflix in forever. The last thing I saw on Netflix was Stranger Things Season 4. The only reason I keep going back to Netflix is because of Stranger Things. I don't watch anything else on there. I don't even have a Netflix subscription. I know. Uh, but, like, I, I just... I haven't even watched a lot of things. I haven't watched The Mal uh, Mandalorian on freaking Disney+. Plus. I don't even have Disney+. Plus. But everybody says that they stopped watching the shows after that anyways. So, um, I just don't have time to pick up new shows. Everybody told me to watch The Witcher... It didn't look, I mean, I was huge on Game of Thrones. I'm huge on Vikings, so I feel like, you know, Witcher's right up my alley. Like, I love those types of shows. But, I don't know. The CGI looks kind of weak, in my opinion. But, you know what, maybe, maybe it looks better on Netflix. Who knows? But let me know what your thoughts are on The Witcher. I thought this honest trailer was pretty funny. Like I said, if you can make me laugh with something I've never even watched, I have no idea of understanding... I'm down with it and that's what honest traders usually does and i usually feel like i can just watch their trailers and be like mm, do i really want to watch this show so uh i thought this was awesome and i got the famous beeps i love when they do that on this freaking thing but uh yeah uh this is your video for the day ladies and gentlemen i hope you enjoyed it hope you enjoyed the reaction if you did please hit that subscribe button give this video a like because it helps out the channel and of course turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the content that gets uploaded here daily but as always ladies and gentlemen i'm your host juice box remember to wake up in the morning ask yourself something Buy my daily dose of juice. See you guys next time.